Well, hey there, I'm Sandeepa from Deep channel Korea's English. Today, I'm going to help you to get rid of your fears to speak in English with a powerful method. I'm going to tell you a short story, so you have to listen to it at least about three times. I really appreciate you if you can listen to the short story more than three times. It's better. Probably when you listen to the short story, you'll find some new vocabulary, expressions and grammar patterns. So you have to find out the meaning of them. You can Google or you can use the dictionary or any way. And finally, I'm going to ask you very simple questions. So you have to pause the video and answer for those questions. You can answer out loud if you can, but if you can't, it's okay. Just be relaxed and think the answer. Try to answer for all of the questions which I'm asking you. But there's something special that I have to tell you. Before you listen to the short story, make sure that you're in a happy mood without being irritating or anxious or unrelaxed because your psychology directly affects for what you're learning, especially when you're learning a language. If you are enthusiastic in learning English, that's what you need to improve. If you learn something with enthusiasm, it's more powerful than learning too much without enthusiasm or without the energy. So make sure that you're an energetic, enthusiastic English learner. So let's move on to listen to the short story. Oh wait, before going to the short story, I have to tell you the purpose of doing such a thing. Listening to the short story many, many times will help you to grab the grammar patterns, vocabulary and the expressions thoroughly. And when you answer the questions which I'm asking you indirectly, it'll be a little bit push for you to speak in English as a beginner. So I recommend you if you can listen to the show story, questions and the answers many many times as possible because then you get more familiar. This familiarity will lead you to improve your English language skills. Don't you think that this method will help you? What do you think? I like if you can share your authentic comments and authentic feelings with us you can comment them down below in the comment section your comments mean so much and we're going to conduct such a video series including such a short story questions and the answers so if you feel that this will work for you make sure that you hit the subscribe button down below and make sure that you also click the notifications bell then you can be notified when we upload new lessons for you okay now, let's move on to listen to the short story. Once upon a time, there was a woman called Bella. Bella was a widow. Her husband died five years ago. There was another woman called Gracie, who was Bella's neighbor. Unfortunately, Gracie's husband also died two months ago. Gracie was really upset. She thought that it would be the end of her life because her husband was a god for her. They were enjoying their lives happily and peacefully. But with her husband's death, she was isolated and she couldn't bear the loss of her husband. Bella was the one who was there to console her. Both of the women had no children. They were at a tender age. Gracie was still crying even though her husband was passed away before two months ago. Bella said to her, Stop crying. You have to be strong. You can take me as an example. You know that I didn't cry for my husband's death because I was in a position to understand the reality of life. You have to carry on the life through many difficulties. Gracie replied crying. But how, Bella? Bella said, do you think that I don't love him? He was my soul. I loved him so much and still loving. He's always there in my heart. I'll live with his memories in our home. Be strong. You have to carry on the life through many difficulties. It's life. Gracie thought of Bella as a real woman because of her words, behaviors, and especially because of her good name in the society. 
everyone was talking about Bella as a perfect woman who had not even a single error. Her husband was the owner of an import agency and had several branches in some areas. After his death, Bella owned everything. She managed the business well with her servant, Canon. Canon was about 25 years old and had not married. He was Bella's obedient servant. Bella was donating money to innocent children, nursing homes and to street beggars. So she's very popular among the villagers as a good woman. The other woman, Gracie, thought of Bella and tried to be strong. Bella was her role model. But still, Gracie was crying for her husband's death. They were usually having conversations in the evening at Bella's place. Great bond was then between these two widows. One day in the evening at about 6 p.m., Gracie went to Bella's place. Bella was talking with Canon very happily. They were giggling. Gracie was about to knock, but she didn't because she heard that they were talking about Bella's husband. Gracie was listening to them by the door secretly. Bella asked Canon, do you remember how we murdered my husband? Canon laughed loudly and told, why not? I stabbed him five times and you pushed him to the river. Gracie was surprised. She couldn't even think such a thing about Bella because she was a perfect woman in front of the society. Bella said to Canon, my dear Canon, people shouldn't know these things. We should pretend in front of them. That's why I'm donating money too. Anyway, you know, I wanted to murder him because he called a secret relationship between you and me. How are we enjoying our lives because of his death? Gracie was about to faint hearing all of this. She couldn't believe. Canon said slowly to Bella, you have to be very friendly with Gracie. Then she would never think of you as the murderer who should guarantee for her husband's death. Bella replied, I didn't want to kill her husband, but I had to because I got the news that he had seen how I murdered my husband. Gracie went to her home quickly and cried loudly as much as she could. Bella heard her cry and she went to Gracie. Gracie was looking at Bella angrily. Gracie asked Bella to come with her to go to the police. Then Bella asked, why are you going to the police? Gracie said, my handbag had been stolen and the police informed me that it was found by them. Okay, that's the end of the short story. Do you think that Gracie was going with Bella to the police to get her handbag back? But I don't think so. What do you think? Allow to hear your imaginations. You can write your imaginations in the comment section down below. Let's see how powerful your imagination is. Okay, now it's time for you to answer the questions. I'm gonna ask you the questions, so you have to pause the video and answer out loud if you can, but if you can't, it's okay, just be relaxed and think the answer just as I told before. So when you have finished answering, you can replay the video and you can hear me saying the correct answer. Okay, the first question. Who were the two widows? Yes, it is Bella and Gracie. You know, widow means a woman who has lost her husband by death. The second question. How many years have been passed after Bella's husband's death? Yes, five years have been passed. Have the widows got children? No, they haven't got any children. Were they old? No, they were not old. They were at a tender age. They were very young. Did Gracie live happily with her husband when he was alive? Yes, they lived happily and peacefully. Who was the strongest woman? Yes, it was Bella who was the strongest woman. No doubt of it. Did Bella have a good name in the society? 
Yes, everybody thought of her as a perfect woman. After Bila's husband's death, what was she owned? Yes, his import agency and the branches. Did Bila manage the business well? Yes, she managed it well. Did she manage it alone? No, she managed it with her servant. Canon, yes. Has Canon got married? No, no, no. He hasn't got married. How old is he? Yes, he was about 25 years old. Was Canon an arrogant servant? No, he wasn't an arrogant servant. He was an obedient servant. Obedient means submissive to the authority or command. Apart from that, arrogant means having an exaggerated sense of one's own importance and abilities. Did Bella donate money on the poor? Yes, she was donating money to poor children, street beggars and to nursing homes. Does Gracie go to Bella's place usually? Yes, she goes to Bella's place to have some conversations in the evening. Were Bella and Gracie friendly? Yes, a great bond was there in between these two widows. One day, when Gracie went to Bella's place, was Bella talking to an unknown man? No, she wasn't talking to an unknown man, she was talking with Canon. At the moment, did Gracie knock the door? No. She was about to knock, but she didn't knock. Okay, who killed Bella's husband? Yes, it was Bella and Cannon. How they killed Bella's husband? Yes, Cannon stabbed him five times and Bella pushed him to the river. Such a terrible death, isn't that so? Okay, then who killed Gracie's husband? Yes, it was Bella. Why did Bella kill Gracie's husband? Because he had seen how Bella killed her husband. Then why did Bella and Cannon kill Bella's husband? Yes, because Bella's husband has found the secret relationship between Cannon and Bella. Why did Bella build a strong bond between her and Gracie? Yes, because she thought that Gracie would never suspect her as the murderer, as the killer of her husband. Did Gracie hear everything which was spoken by Bella and Cannon? Yes, she heard everything which was spoken by Cannon and Bella. Okay, then the last question. What will Gracie do after hearing the talk between Bella and Canon? It's up to you guys. I want you to continue the short story a little bit more. You can write your imaginations in the comment section down below. I'd love to read them. All right, that's the end of the lesson. So I hope that you answered for all of the questions. Tell me whether you have answered for all of the questions or not. So don't forget to subscribe us, you'll find such lessons further too. So, bye for now.